Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, there is some very controversial thing that happened with the 2023 Toyota Sequoia because it has lost the roll down rear window, which everyone loves. So the big question is, would the new generation Toyota 4Runner, which is the sixth generation, also lose the sliding rear window? Well, let me explain to you that from my perspective, I think Toyota will actually take that away from the new generation as well. Let me explain to you why. Welcome back. So why would Toyota actually remove the rear sliding window on the new Toyota Sequoia? Because everyone seems to love that feature. Now let me show you from engineer's perspective why it doesn't make sense anymore to have it based on this 4Runner that I have. This is my uh, 4Runner Limited in magnetic gray. I love this thing. I use it all the time. And of course it still has the rear sliding window. But the problem with this feature is that from engineer's perspective, from efficiency perspective, it's very difficult to manage. Because in order to be able to slide this rear window down, this entire design has to be quite vertical. In much the same way, the side windows roll down into the door. So this window right here will roll down into this uh, rear uh, hatch or rear door, and therefore this entire thing can be curved a little bit because the window can be curved and go in but it cannot be slanted like the way new designs that we're seeing in new crossovers and SUVs. So if you look at the new Sequoia, for example, this D pillar here is very, very slanted, and then it comes a little bit straight. And that is uh, to improve the aerodynamic efficiency. And the same thing will happen with the new 4Runner, which is a sixth generation, likely to come out in about a year and a half or so in 2024 perhaps. And in order for them to improve aerodynamic efficiency and to simplify the product, I can almost bet 99% that they will remove the sliding rear window. And the reason again is simply because to make this movable, this entire panel has to be more or less vertical and they cannot improve the efficiency without putting a big rear uh, spoiler like this, which doesn't make sense from a design perspective. So in order for them to make this uh, deep pillar more slanted, the window will come like this. There's no way, physically speaking, from engineer's perspective, you can then roll down that window into the tailgate or into the rear hatch. Now keep in mind that in the 2023 Sequoia, this window does flip up. So it's not that you lose all of the functionality of the rear window being able to have some fresh air but it doesn't slide down at all. Now, there are other things that we have to keep in mind. For example, if you were to drive this vehicle with the window down, it's actually a serious safety hazard. It kind of creates like a tornado effect in which the exhaust will then come out this way and it tumbles in back into the passenger compartment. So you cannot drive this vehicle with the rear window down and with people sitting in the back seat, you are going to be liable for carbon monoxide poisoning. So it's extremely dangerous. So that's another reason as well, because it is a serious safety concern. And even if you drive on the highway with this down, while well, you still get carbon monoxide being sucked into the passenger compartment, and also there'll be buffeting. So there's not a lot of advantage of the rear window being open uh, in terms of safety. Now, I know that many of you guys like to open this so that you could put something long and stick it out the window, but that's also a safety issue from Toyota's perspective, because you don't want some piece of a long uh, wood or something sticking in the back and not tied down properly. They would want to put a long item on top of the roof and secure it properly. So again, it's not a lot of advantage in terms of a safety perspective to be able to open this. In fact, there's more disadvantage than advantage. Also, I've owned six different types of foreigners over the years, but do you know how many times I actually open the rear window? Maybe once a year, maybe twice a year. Maybe you want to get some fresh air because you're parked somewhere and you decide to open the back. But for the most part, I actually even forget that I can open the rear window and I actually don't use it. So most likely they've done a survey which shows that maybe 98, 99% of people probably almost never open their rear window. So even though it's a very sensitive topic for many of you guys, most likely you don't use it very often. 
and the few times when you actually did open the rear window, well, you could have achieved the same kind of fresh air feel by just opening the windows or opening the sunroof. So uh, once again, this is a sensitive topic. It's an important topic for most of us who own Forerunner because it's kind of a signature uh, part of the Forerunner and we don't want to lose that. But knowing that the Sequoia has lost it and understanding the engineering perspective, the safety perspective, and maybe even the cost perspective, I'm pretty sure they're going to remove that so that they can give the Forerunner a better aerodynamic efficiency perhaps a more a slanted design, uh, and then they can achieve the open air feeding some other way. Who knows, maybe they will allow the roof to be removed, just like in a new Ford Bronco or Jeep Wrangler, and that way uh, you still get the fresh air feeling uh, in the next generation Forerunner. So that's my take on why the uh, roll down windows in the rear will be likely going away on the new Forerunner in the same way we saw in Sequoia, because there are many factors against having the rear window. So what do you think? I know this is an important topic for most of you guys. Uh, we won't find out for at least a year, maybe a year and a half, uh, to see what's gonna happen with a new Forerunner. We're very excited about the new product, but maybe it will not be 100% what you want, because most likely it's also going to have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, which many of you guys also might not be crazy about. But the times are changing, and we have to move on, and whether we like it or not, Toyota is going to change things for a better world. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm signing off for now.